Have you been thinking about moving to Carrollton, Texas? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at any and all things Carrollton from a bird's eye view. So if you've been thinking about moving to Carrollton, Texas, you are not gonna wanna miss this video, so stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you want to know everything there is to know about living in Dallas, Texas, or any one of its many suburbs, including Carrollton, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the business since 2007, helping buyers and sellers just like you. And today, in this video, we're gonna take a deep look into any and all things Carrollton. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap it up here, head down into my office, and hop onto my computer. So let's go. Okay, well we have made it from a neighborhood walk with the grandbaby back down into my office, but with good reason, so we can take a look at Carrollton and learn a little bit about Carrollton today. So okay, you can see right here, I've got Fort Worth, Dallas, and Carrollton showing. Let me zoom on out so you can get a good idea you can see that Carrollton is just a little bit more centrally located than some of the other map tours we've done. You know, we've done recently Plano and we did Rockwall and we've done McKinney and, and Carrollton is definitely going to be closer, you know, in terms of that commute times because it's more centrally located. Uh, and in fact, you know what, let's take a look at some of those commute times so we can kind of see what we're talking about here. Well, the downtown Dallas commute, if you were going from Carrollton to Fort Dallas, downtown Dallas. So if you lived here and you worked here, you'd be talking about a commute of about 25 minutes and it would look something like this. Okay, right in there, you would be taking the Dallas North Tollway up to Keller Springs. So Keller Springs down to the Dallas North Tollway is what would get you there. And you'd be talking about 25 minutes. Now, if you had to commute to Fort Worth from Carrollton. So again, Carrollton, over here to Fort Worth, you'd be talking about a 36 minute commute and it would look something like this, okay? You would take George W. Bush Turnpike all the way down to about 183. And then you'd have the option here, you could come on down to Sam Rayburn Tollway, you know, 121, or you could keep on going here and then take 35 down. So either way, you're talking about roughly like a 36 minute commute. Okay, how about if you wanted to go to the AT&T Stadium for a little entertainment? What would that look like? Well, for that, you're talking about, hey, look at that, less than a half hour, just a 28 minute commute. So let's look into that a little bit more. Let's close off Dallas and Fort Worth. And there you see it, you can see right there, you are going to take the George Bush Turnpike yet again, all the way down to I-30. Then you get you right in here. And again, we love, checking out times to, to Arlington here because it has so much to offer. Six Flags, Hurricane Harbor, Choctaw Stadium, AT&T Stadium, lots of fun to be had in Arlington. So I always like to, to show that, but yeah, that's not a bad commute either. So we're already just seeing these wonderful benefits uh, to Carrollton of these short commute times and short drive times. Okay, now what if you had to travel with your job, you know, let's say you, it was important for you to go back and forth to the airport. Well, you're talking only about a 19 minute commute. So just a shave under 20 minutes, it's not bad at all. Kind of see what that's gonna look like here. Again, a George Bush Turnpike is gonna get you there. Gonna head straight down here. You'll start with George Bush and then you're gonna head on over to the Sam Rayburn Tollway and then head from there. So 19 minutes, boy. Lots of benefits to Carrollton, isn't there, in terms of where you're driving. Central location just can't be beat. All right, well, how about if you had to work in Las Colinas? Because, you know, we've talked about how many jobs there are in Las Colinas, right? 125,000 jobs in that little small area. So I always like to include that commute time. And you can see right here, it's not bad at all. It's about a 16-minute commute. So let's see what that would look like. All right, Las Colinas, there we are. Okay, let me close in on that just a little bit more. You've got the George Bush Turnpike, okay, and you're gonna take it all the way down right in here, and you've got a little bit of 114, and there you are at Las Colinas. And you know, again, that George Bush Turnpike is a very nice, smooth drive, so that 
not an unpleasant commute at all if you had to work in Las Colinas. Okay, now what about a little recreation? You know, if you said, hey, Wendy, I like the lake life. <laughs> what am I talking about drive time if I wanna, you know, enjoy the lake and live in Carrollton? Well, good news is right there, you've only got, you know, a 24 or 28 minute drive to either. So even, you know, you're somewhat centrally located even between the two lakes here. You've got Louisville Lake and Grapevine Lake. Right, and those drives would look something like this. Okay, so you've got Carrollton here. You're gonna head up more of a northwest to get to Louisville Lake, and then basically due west just to get to, uh, to Grapevine Lake there. So yeah, so not bad at all, commute times. All right, so let me show you this. If you haven't quite got your bearings yet, I wanna show you what cities Carrollton is near. So first of all, let me kinda throw out this overlay so you can see the size, all right? Now, what cities are we gonna find? If we're in Carrollton, what other cities are we gonna be near? Well, first of all, you're gonna be right near the colony. You can see the colony right here. And again, so we've got Louisville Lake here, okay? Lake Louisville here. And then you've got the colony, and then right in here you have Sam Rayburn Tollway coming through. And I will say, you know, just kind of speaking of that is one thing I love about Carrollton let me just kind of show you this real quickly is I love the highway access, okay? Look at this, you've got the Sam Rayburn Tollway here and the George Bush Turnpike here. So you know, all this time we've been looking at these nice favorable commute times. Well, no wonder because <laughs> you've got these excellent highway accesses. You've got Dallas North Tollway here as well and you've got I-35, so you have some excellent highway access and when you have that you know that's just going to make your commute time so much more convenient but okay back to the cities that are right near Carrollton there you have the colony um, off over here to the east you're going to have Plano okay and then you've got Addison and Addison is just right um, right down here really close just immediately bordering Carrollton all right, then you've got Farmer's Branch down here on the southern end. Uh, you've got Las Colinas, and now keep in mind that Las Colinas, you know, is not its own city. It's it's such a, has so much there and is so well known that I include it, but it is actually part of Irving. Uh, and then you have Capel, and then you have Louisville. So that kind of gives you an idea there of the surrounding cities if you're trying to get your bearings of Wait a minute, where is Carrollton, all right? You're right surrounded by the Colony, Plano, Addison, Farmer's Branch, Las Colinas, which is, again is in Irving, uh, Capel, and Louisville. So that kind of helps you hopefully get your bearings there even more, okay? So then Fort Worth, Dallas, Carrollton, and then all of these surrounding areas. So definitely Carrollton has, you know, those favorable highways going for it, uh, making those short commute times. Okay, well, you know what we haven't done yet? Let's look at a few statistics, just some basic information about Carrollton. So let's do that, kind of get you a little bit more in terms of being familiar with what it has to offer, right? All right, here we go. Let's see here now. Okay, so population of Carrollton, 145,000, almost 146,000. So it is definitely one of your larger suburbs for sure. Okay, it is located in both Dallas and Denton County. So parts of it in each and um, something to keep be mindful of because you've got different tax brackets in Dallas and Denton County. And so, you know, it could affect your house payment quite significantly depending on what part of the county, you know, you end up in if you're buying in Carrollton. All right, land area, 36.7 square miles. Now, if you've watched my rock wall map tour, uh, you'll remember we talked about land density, population density a little bit. Um, we compared some cities. Well, Carrollton is a little bit bigger than Rockwall. Rockwall was right around like 30 square miles. And yet uh, Carrollton has like three times the population. So that really just tells you how much more crowded Carrollton is going to be than, you know, for example, Rockwall. Okay, because you're talking about a similar land area population that's three times as big. So Rockwall, you're gonna find much more room to spread out than for example, in Carrollton. All right, let's see here now. 2020 growth rate, around one and a half percent. So it's it's a growing, but it's pretty stable. It's not like exploding with growth. And 
You know, when, when we see a city that's exploding in growth, you know, you can count on, for one thing, you're probably gonna see lots of new construction, which has its own opportunities, but you know, you can also see growing pains, like having to have roads widened and stuff. So it's kind of nice that Carrollton is growing a little bit, but not too much, right? All right, so let's see here now. Growth since 2010, about 22%. Uh, the 2010 population was right around 119,000. Okay, household income, average household income, 97,000. And I know kind of comparing wise, this is you know higher than Arlington, uh, lower than Rockwall, lower than Mansfield, lower than Midlothian. Um, so definitely much lower than South Lake. Okay, home ownership rate. You know, we always like to talk about home ownership rates because it indicates, you know, uh, deep roots, how many people are sticking around that own. And this one is a little on the low side for Carrollton, right at around just under 60%, you know, and we love to see it up there. You know, again, South Lake is the winner. It has a 93% home ownership rate. We've seen high home ownership rates like in um, in Rockwall and Frisco, Midlothian and Mansfield. Um, so yeah, so Carrollton hovering right around 60% with that home ownership rate. All right, I'll tell you what, let's take a look, a closer look at Carrollton. I want to scroll in, you know, let's talk about shopping. Let's kind of get an idea of what there is to do. And then I want to show you a few other fun things to do as well. So let me see here, Carrollton Town Center. Let's show you that. Where is that Carrollton Town Center? Ah, here it is, right off of the President George Bush Turnpike. Okay, so right in here at the Carrollton Town Center, you can see you've got quite a lot to offer. Uh, you've got right in here the Yin Tang, the Fatney Barbecue, goodness, all kinds of fun things. You've got the Sushi Bar, uh, you've got your Twirl Crepe, so lots of fun little unique things. And then on this side, goodness, you've got all kinds of things going on. Your Water Burger Pan Mix, lots, lots and lots of eateries right look at all these and these are not just your uh, you know these are not your chain restaurants either there's a lot of neat ethnic options here the crab station the tiger sugar all right so some neat eateries in here you've also got your lowe's home improvement your walmart korean mall the h mart so that is a lot to offer there with the Carrollton Town Center. Uh, we've also got the Trinity Village. Let's see here, Trinity Valley, sorry. Shopping Center here. Let's see what it has to offer. All right, a little bit smaller, but you've got your Ross, got your Winco Foods, Plato's Closet, so Jack in the Pot on the box there. All right, so there's one thing too I wanted to show you that is really a neat feature that people kind of come from all over for to Carrollton. Let me show you this, and here it is. This is a really neat area, the Spa Castle. Okay, so the Spa Castle is a very unique uh, area. It has one competitor called King Spa, and what it is is it's this massive, just this huge building uh, with all kinds of, it has all these different saunas, and massage swimming places. So it has like this giant pool area uh, with all these different massage stations. So it's definitely something you can go like with, you know, with your spouse um, and go on a date. You know, it's, it's a very relaxing place. You just kind of sit and spend quality time together. Uh, so it's kind of has an, an Asian inspired flair to it. So yeah, so the Spa Castle, we have been there numerous times. I've gone with, you know, friends for hangout times. I've gone with my husband for like a date day. So this is a really neat area. And the King Spa, and you'll see a lot of comparisons, you know, they, with people saying, well, what do you like better? Do you like Spa Castle or King Spa? Because they're both very similar. Uh, Spa Castle has the outdoor pools, whereas King Spa has all indoor pools. So anyway, Shoot me in the comments, tell me if you've been there, which one do you prefer, Spa Castle or King Spa? Because they're both very nice and very popular. Really neat feature about Carrollton. Okay, let's talk about historic downtown Carrollton. Let's take a look at that, historic downtown Carrollton. All right, look here, you have some really neat things at the historic downtown 
at the historic downtown Carrollton Square. Right in here you can see you have little candy and soda pop shop. You've got Babe's Chicken Dinner House. You've got the El Rincon Mexican Tequila Bar. So lots of really neat things to do right down here at the square. Ooh, you've got indoor axe throwing. So that's really fun if that's your thing. <laughs> so the square is a really neat area to explore as well. Okay, well one thing we haven't talked a lot about is we haven't really talked about schools. So let's bring up niche.com as kind of an overview and then let's talk a little bit about some school ratings. All right, there is niche.com. Okay, niche.com gave Carrollton Public Schools an A. They gave housing a B plus, said it was a good for families as an A, crime and safety a C plus, and diversity an A plus. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an idea, but let's look at some numbers for the schools. Okay, so let's look at this. All right, let's take a look at some numbers, okay? All right, you see those numbers popping up there? Those are just a few of the schools that I looked up, your top scoring ones, okay? So we found one nine. Uh, several eights, a couple sevens, and then a six. And this was the high school. The Hebron High School scored a six. We have the Arbor Creek Middle School with a seven, Trivium Academy with a seven, uh, the Harmony Science Academy. So they had some good things to offer there. Harmony Science Academy had an eight. The Dale B. Davis Elementary School had an eight. Annie Rainwater Elementary had an eight, and the McCoy Elementary School came in with the top score of a nine. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So, you know, similar to what we saw in Rockwall, we would have liked to have seen some, you know, some all tens, but we don't, but still there are some sevens, eights, and nine options, you know, to look at, so that's good to know. Okay, well, let's take a look at some housing information uh, for Carrollton. How is the housing market? Well, the median sales price in the past 90 days in Carrollton is just over 400,000, so 401,500. Median price per square foot in the past 90 days was $201. So if you've watched my other map tours, you'll know that this is higher than what we've seen. Um, for example, in Rockwell, we saw the median price per square foot was $185. So $200 is up there, a little bit higher. So it shows that Carrollton is, the prices are going up there. Uh, luxury and affluent areas, the Indian Creek subdivision and Castle Hills. Now, how about new construction? Well, we found a little bit in Castle Hills and Essex Park, but they were most, for the most part, almost all closed up. So there's just not a whole lot there. I can show you those areas, but what I was seeing was they were saying they were mostly closed out. Um, so right here you have Castle Hills and you have American Legend and Britain Homes. Those are the builders. And then you also have Essex Park, which was Norman Homes. But again, both of these said they were pretty much near closeout. So, you know, that would make sense, right? Because Carrollton, Texas is mostly going to be landlocked, right? So you're not gonna see a whole lot in the way of new construction, but there were these few, but definitely not, you know, a ton of opportunities. So, you know, if, if, if new construction is important to you, uh, chances are you're gonna wanna look somewhere other than Carrollton. Um, okay, so tell me, you know, we've talked about a lot of things here. Was this helpful? Do you feel like you know Carrollton a little bit better now, now that we've kind of gone through this? Uh, are there any other questions you have? Because if there are, definitely hit me up in the comments section. Uh, and, in, you know, and we can go through that because I'm sure there's still quite a bit more we could learn about Carrollton, right? But yeah, overall, I would say super strong selling points about Carrollton are those favorable commutes those highway accesses. Do you see just all of these highways weaving through here? Because you know what, when you see that, that means you're going to have those shorter commutes, you know? And so I think that that's definitely a plus to, to Carrollton. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful, you know? And if it was, definitely head on back to my channel and check out a few other videos. And, um, you know, and if you have a move in your future, either, you know, maybe it's Carrollton or, anywhere else in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. You know, remember we've been doing this since 2007. Uh, so we are definitely the ones that can help you. We're familiar with the entire Metroplex. Goodness, we have just, 
helped buyers and sellers all over and then some. We have worked way far <laughs> all over the place. Anyway, so if you have a move in the future, definitely reach out to us, you know, call, email, text, any of those ways work. We're just glad to help. And listen, though, in the meantime, thank you so much for, for joining me on this map tour. And listen, have a great day. Oh,